me say my name is Alex C. This is what I'm gonna tell you. I used to be lost and confused with the fame and the woman and the cars and the booze. They say I'm a yabang, I'm off in the queues. Size 14, try to walk in my shoes. I don't know why people see me as a why. I come in peace. I'm not Palau why. So you know what I'm talking about, AC from, you know, Philippine Patriots holding it down, Air Asia, loving it, living it around the whole Air Asia, all, all Asian, Asian Basketball League, living it up, loving it. Y'all gotta check it out, it's an exciting league. You know, that's what I'm about, excitement. We're ready to roll with another edition of AirAsia ABL Game to Game. With the playoffs just around the corner, be prepared for emotions running wild. Sidelining injuries, thrilling dunks, long range bombs, and the usual action packed excitement of the AirAsia ABL. This week inside Game to Game, we go one on one with Alex Crisano and Justin Lee. The Singapore Slingers survive and go to the playoffs. The Dragons burned in Brunei. And Satria Muda's playoff dreams destroyed by the Patriots in an OT thriller. Not only is Alex Cusano the center for the Air Asia Philippine Patriots, he's an actor, rapper, and dancer. Let's listen in on what he has to say when we catch up with him in Manila. I used to be a skateboarder for when I was 12 years old, 10, like 10. Uh, once I started skateboarding, I used to skate in parks, and I used to see people playing basketball. So, you know, I was doing tricks and stuff. And then one day, I seen that the ball came my way, and I picked it up, and I used to jump high. So I, from there on, I took the ball, and I seen people dunking it, and I tried. And I almost did it, so I kind of got interested since then, since I was 12. Well, ballroom is the softer side of me. I mean, I mean, I just I do it because you, you get to throw girls in the air and do all the the fun stuff and enjoy dancing. Oh uh, man, I lost count ever since my fifth one. Um, after that, it just turned into one sleeve, two sleeves, chest back. I think about probably like at least thirty. Always been my dream to be an actor. Uh, it's not like a dream, but I, I it was given talent, so I had an opportunity. But basketball, I just like to work. I don't like to, I'm a very active kid. I like to be, if I stay in one spot too long, I, I, I tend to get bored quick and then I move on to the next and I find something to do. Um, this movie coming out is called A Gimit Nang Enting Pasote. It's a Tagalog movie. Um, I'm flattered because I'm working with two of the most top rated characters or the top rated movie artists in the Philippines and not just here, but Boong Mando, that means all over, all over the world, wherever Filipinos are. Well, the biggest achievement was to, um, of course, uh, just to show my, my, my talent, my, my hard work, uh, my, you know, the, the aggressiveness, the, you know, just the things that people enjoyed to see, not just, not just shooting and all the defense, like, you know, like rebounding, diving for loose balls, blocking shots. Sometimes dunks. You know, I haven't had one yet here in, in Air Asia, but there's gonna be a time when I get one, and when I do, I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be top 10 for a good, good month or two. The Westport's Kale Dragons' newest import is American Jamaican Justin Leith. At six foot six, Leith has played pro ball in South America, and in '99 was invited to work out with the New Jersey Nets of the NBA. Let's hear from the man himself. Actually, I started kind of old. I mean, for my for myself at, at home, maybe 13, 14 years old. Um, but I found success right away and stuck with it. Um, and I was able to earn a scholarship uh, to college and um, and now playing professionally. I just started in the Czech Republic over in Europe. Um, and kind of ended up in uh, South America, in Argentina, uh, Mexico, Uruguay, a lot of different places. Honestly, I've wanted to play basketball first, um, make a little bit of money, and, and, uh, and start my own business, whether it be property management, um, I don't know, but that, that'll just happen in a couple of years. All the guys are, what I look for first from a team, um, is are the, are the guys good, are the good people, and they absolutely were, every from the coach down to the, to the last guy. Um, we train a lot, <laughs> so we're up together in the morning, uh, we're together, and then we walk home together uh, from practice, and then uh, get a little nap, and then we're back in the gym. 
so the chemistry has been able to happen. I think we'll we'll take a couple of games to uh, to be 100%, but I think that uh, it's it's been good so far. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm really excited to finally play. Uh, we all have the same common goal, and that's to win. And that's why I'm here. AirAsia's title sponsors of the ASEAN Basketball League will be sponsoring flights as prizes. With the playoffs just around the corner, let's hear about AirAsia's free throw for free seats halftime contest from Kathleen Tan, regional head of commercial from AirAsia. Hey ABL fans, listen up. If you have plans to catch your favorite ABL team at the playoffs, take part in the AirAsia free throw free seats contest and you stand a chance to win return tickets on Air Asia flights to amazing destinations across the extensive Air Asia network. What are you waiting for? Show off your free throw skills. Go to AirAsiaGo.com for the best ABL playoff packages. I'm Justin Leith, Power 4 for the Westport KL Dragons. You're watching Air Asia ABL Game to Game.